first graders? Well, it is Friday. We are at the end of our fourth week of distance learning. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe it. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at our note, and then I have a little story for you to end our week on a funny note, and then we'll, um, I'll walk you through the math papers for today. But let's start with our note. Dear first graders, today is Friday. Way to go on making it through another week of distance learning. I am impressed with all of the graphing work you have done. Have fun this weekend and get ready for another full week next week. Have a fantastic Tuesday. Love, Mrs. Baker. Remember to go on Seesaw and make corrections to this note if you are able. Remember how I said I wanted to end our week on a funny note? I have a very silly story for us to read today. It is called Aliens Love Underpants by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. I dare you to try and listen to this story without laughing, first graders. Let's see if you can do it. All right. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size, but there are no underpants in space. So here's a big surprise. What do you think the surprise is, first graders? When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I'll bet you never knew. Oh my goodness. I'm already smiling. <laughs> Have you made it this far without smiling or laughing? Their spaceship's radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees a fresh clothesline of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your backyard, though they haven't been invited. Ooh, underpants, they chant and dance around delighted. What would you do if you saw aliens in your backyard dancing around underwear on a clothesline? I don't know what I would do, friends. I think Duke would probably bark. They like them red, they like them green, or orange like wild pumas. But best of all, they love the sight of granny spotted bloomers. Mom's pink frilly panties are a perfect place to hide, and grandma's woolly long grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzy slide. <laughs> They're all sliding down the long, the long underwear there. In daring competitions, held up by just one pin, they dive into the long johns to see how many can squeeze in. That kind of reminds me of the old man's mitten. I wonder how many aliens they could fit in there. <laughs> they wear undies on their feet and heads and other silly places. They fly undies from their spaceships and hold funny undies, funny undies races. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a a flag or something on the back of an airplane. They, they're hanging underwear on the back of their spaceship. Whoa. As they go zinging through the air, it's, it really is pants-tastic. What fun the aliens can have with underpants of elastic. What did they make under, out of the underpants? A trampoline. <laughs> have you laughed yet? It's not your neighbor's naughty dog or his owner's funny game. When underpants go missing, the aliens are to blame. But quick, mom's coming out to fetch the laundry in at last. Whee! Off the alien zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So when you put your underpants on, freshly washed and nice and clean, just check in case an alien still lurks inside unseen. <laughs> and it just shows all kinds of different underpants. Well, I hope that gave you a little bit of a laugh. Have a great weekend, first graders. I'll walk you through the math lesson and then you're done for the week. Today we are going to be combining all of the skills you have learned about tally charts, picture graphs, and bar graphs. It says Jade and her class are having a picnic. Jade asks the students in her class their favorite picnic food. Write the totals for each item. As you can see, there are already tallies. So you are going to write the total number for cheeseburger, hot dog, and hamburger.
After finding the totals, you will answer the question at the bottom. The question asks, how many more students like cheeseburgers than hamburgers? So when you are finding the difference between two numbers, you use a subtraction number sentence. I have put one in pink there on the paper so that you can fill in the numbers and find out how many more students like cheeseburgers than hamburgers. On the back side, it says after lunch, Jade counted leftover juice boxes, and it shows the flavors of juice boxes left, cherry, grape, and orange. How did she show this, friends? Is this a tally chart, a picture graph, or a bar graph? You are going to use the information to answer the question. How many juice boxes did Jade count? You are looking for the total number of juice boxes. For part C, it says for dessert, the class had ice cream. They had three flavors of ice cream, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. Uh oh, first graders, this is making me hungry for ice cream. The question asks, how many people did not choose chocolate? So if they did not choose chocolate, that means they chose vanilla or strawberry. How many friends chose vanilla or strawberry? Use a strategy to solve that. 